Iran-Israel Breaking News Live Update As Trump secures the presidency of the United States, Iran's currency plummets to an all-time low. Locals are concerned that the president-elect will exacerbate U.S. sanctions, despite Tehran's efforts to minimize the consequences of the outcome. An Iranian student has stated, our economy and social situation will undoubtedly deteriorate. On Wednesday, Iran's currency plummeted to an all-time low as former President Donald Trump appeared to secure the U.S. presidency once more. This development suggests that Tehran will face new obstacles as it continues to be embroiled in the ongoing conflicts in the Middle East. According to merchants in Tehran, the rial was trading at 703,000 to the dollar. The rate is subject to fluctuation throughout the day. Iran's central bank may attempt to enhance the rate by inundating the market with additional foreign currencies, as it has done in the past. The rial is already experiencing significant difficulties due to its sharp decline in value, and the atmosphere among some on the streets of Tehran has darkened. This slide coincides with these developments, Amir Aghian, a 22-year-old student, declared, he will increase the sanctions without hesitation. Events that are not in our favor will be more detrimental. It is inevitable that our economic and social circumstances will deteriorate. The rial held a value of $32,000 to $1 at the time of Iran's nuclear agreement with the world powers in 2015. The rate was $584,000 to $1 on July 30, the day that Iran's reformist president Masoud Pazeshkian was sworn in and began his tenure. In 2018, Trump unilaterally withdrew the United States from the accord, which sparked a series of ongoing tensions between the two nations for years. Iran's economy has been afflicted by the crippling international sanctions imposed in response to its swiftly progressing nuclear program, which is currently enriching uranium to levels that are nearly weapons gray. Pazeshkian was elected in May following the death of hardline President Ebrahim Raisi in a helicopter crash. He was elected on a pledge to negotiate an agreement to alleviate Western sanctions. Nevertheless, the Iranian government has been attempting for weeks to minimize the impact of the outcome of the United States election on Tuesday on Tehran. Fate May Mohajirani, a spokesperson for Pazeshkian's administration, maintained that posture with a succinct statement on Wednesday. The election of the U.S. president is not specifically relevant to us, she stated. There is no significant change in the main policies of the Islamic Republic and the United States as a result of the replacement of individuals. We have already implemented the essential measures in advance. However, 45 years have passed since the 1979 U.S. Embassy takeover and the subsequent 444-day hostage crisis, and tensions between the two nations remain elevated, Iran is still embroiled in the Mideast conflicts that are currently raging, and its allies, which include the Palestinian terror group Hamas, Lebanon's Hezbollah, and Yemen's Houthi rebels, are being battered. These allies are members of Iran's self-described axis of resistance. Israel is intensifying its conflict with Hamas in the Gaza Strip, which commenced on October 7, 2018, when the terror organization invaded Israel, resulting in the deaths of approximately 1,200 individuals and the abduction of 251 hostages to Gaza. Israel has been engaged in a conflict with Hezbollah in Lebanon, which commenced the day following the Hamas assault. The Lebanese terror organization has been firing rockets and drones at Israel. The IDF has recently initiated a ground operation and a comprehensive bombardment campaign in Lebanon with the objective of ensuring the safety of the return of tens of thousands of displaced residents of northern Israel. Iran continues to evaluate the implications of Israel's October 26 strike on military targets in the Islamic Republic, which was a response to Iran's ballistic missile bombardment on Israel on October 1. Additionally, in April, Iran launched a substantial missile and drone barrage on Israel marking its initial direct assault that did not involve its terror proxies. The United States is currently stationing soldiers at a missile defense battery in Israel, where Iran has issued threats of retaliation, while discussing Trump, Mahmoud Parvari, a 71-year-old taxi driver in Tehran, did not censor words. I feel as though I am witnessing the demon, he stated. His appearance is reminiscent of Satan, his eyes are reminiscent of Satan, and his demeanor is reminiscent of a lunatic. However, another taxi driver, who only disclosed his last name as Hosseini, expressed a more pragmatic perspective. He stated, I would certainly negotiate with Trump if it would benefit my country. It is irrelevant whether the individual in question is Trump or another individual. Ultimately, he is a human being, state media reported the execution of Iranian-German dissident Jamshid Sharmad late last month, according to Iran's judiciary. On October 28, the judiciary's news agency announced that Sharmad, 
who was convicted of corruption on earth in 2023 and sentenced to death following a trial that human rights groups deemed to be excessively unfair, had been punished for his actions. Askar Jahangir, the judiciary spokesperson, informed reporters on Tuesday that his sentence was prepared for execution. However, he passed away prior to its execution. He did not provide any additional information. Gazelle, Sharmad's daughter, stated that she was skeptical of the statements made by Iranian authorities and demanded evidence from an independent international investigation. In response to the case, she accused Germany and the U.S., where Sharmad resided, of failing policies, shirking responsibility and gross negligence. She demanded that they now fulfill their duty, find my father, and return him to Germany and the U.S., and initiate investigations. For four years, my father was abducted, tortured, isolated, and stripped of all of his fundamental rights, she continued. Premeditated murder and a declaration of war against all of Europe and America are the consequences of any cause of mortality in these circumstances. Jumshid Sharmad was abducted by Iran and held for years without a fair trial, in inhumane conditions, and without the requisite medical care, according to a German official who spoke to the Reuters news agency. His death is attributable to Iran. In response to the cold-blooded assassination of Sharmad, German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock ordered the closure of all three Iranian consulates in her country and recalled the German ambassador from Tehran last week. At the news conference on Tuesday, Mr. Jahangir denied Germany's grievance, asserting that Iran's judicial system was an independent institution and did not permit any foreign interference in judicial affairs. In addition, Sharmad, who resided in the United States, was tried as an Iranian for the terrorist acts he committed. According to him, a court in the northwestern city of Arumia has sentenced three individuals to death for their involvement in the 2020 assassination of top Iranian nuclear scientist Mohsen Fakhrizadeh, according to Iran's judiciary. In an attack that Iran attributed to Israel, Fakhrizadeh was fatally fired by a remote-controlled weapon in the vicinity of Tehran. According to Mr. Jahangir, the three individuals were accused of committing espionage for the occupying regime of Israel.